I'm just happy. This, this is great. The Vegas Gold Knights win. <laughs> Three to one uh, against the Anaheim Ducks in the third game of the season to go up three and oh and oh. This was probably the tightest game of the season. Like the game against the Blues, ha I was more stressed about that one because I think the Blues are a better team than the Ducks, who have given us trouble a little bit in the last couple of years because they seem to just show up uh, for these games really hard. And if they played like that in every single game of the season, uh, that uh, first period specifically, and then I guess half of that third period, you know, that, that they, they might be fighting for a playoff spot. But, you know, I really like Trevor Zegras, uh, Mintikov, uh, Leo Carlson, sure, but uh, <laughs> every time Dave Gosher would say uh, Carlson in reference to Leo Carlson, it made me think of Wild Bill, and uh, then I was like, oh shoot, he's still not in. Cole Schwinn still in there, so same lineup as last time, except we swapped Hill for Samsonov to make his VGK debut, and he didn't light the world on fire. He did what he was supposed to do, which was great. And there were a couple of times where like, I was like, oh, <laughs> scary. But our defense was impeccable in getting those garbage stuff out uh, immediately. Shea Theodore's 500th career game against the team that drafted him and gave him to us in the expansion draft. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Anaheim. Speaking of cleaning up the garbage in front of the net, Colzar sends the puck to Petro, who sends it on, and the initial shot is blocked or saved by Reimer, and then the puck just plops down right in front of Brett Howden as he just is on his way, does a drive-by, bangs in this puck into the back of the net, and it's one nothing Vegas super early. Super, like six minutes in. But a, an offensive zone lapse by, from the hottest line in hockey, <laughs> Ivan Barbashev leads to a breakaway the other way for the Anaheim Ducks later in the first, and Troy Terry is the one on that breakaway, and uh, <laughs> he's really good, man, and just snipes it on Samsonov, and it's a tie game 1-1. And in general, that first period, the Anaheim Ducks were all over it. They did a really good job, and we traded chances. Like, it, it was back and forth a little bit, but they had a little bit of sustained pressure, which for a team that's projected to be towards the bottom of the Pacific Division against one of the playoff teams, just not uh, ideal. And the second period, kind of a slog. It just, like, nothing really, like, Vegas control that period for a good portion of it and they had a couple of decent chances including a power play that didn't convert but even though we've kind of struggled scoring on the power play up to this like last game we didn't and we didn't on the first two in this game it was <laughs> wink wink the most confident I've been in the history of the Vegas Golden Knights in our ability to score on the power play. I don't know what it is. Olafson's left-handed shot, and he's got a brilliant shot. We're actually taking shots. Eichel's moving around and making these different lanes and stuff, and it's just really cool to see our top unit get sustained zone time for as long as they really want until they make a mistake, which in this case, like, it was basically the entire power play. On a power play in the third period, five minutes in, failed clearing attempt from Anaheim, Theodore keeps it in, sends it over to Eichel, gets it back up to Stone, who's at that net front, because the, he just, he's, he tried a couple of times to, you know, crash it in on the far side, but he didn't to no avail, and this time he passed it to Hurdle, who's hurtling up the center of the ice and he bangs it home to take the lead back for Vegas 2-1. His first of the season, I, I remember thinking in the beginning like a period and a half, two periods, like I really want this second line to be doing something because Hurdle, we, we switched up Howden into that second line slot and dropped, uh, I think it was Holtz down. Dorofiev and Hurdle, like they are a really good line and I was expecting a little bit more than what we've gotten so far out of them. <laughs> And then in one period, there it's like, ah, there it is. There it is we're talking about. Sorry, not Howden. Olafson was jumped up. And Olafson has been playing phenomenal. Like, apparently it's his best hockey in years. I didn't really watch Buffalo that closely, so I can't really say. But I believe it. Dude's a rock star. And we were able to lock him up for that little. Great. Cool. Fantastic. And this wasn't exactly that line, but Dorofiev gets gold number three because Keaton Kolzar? Uh, creates a turnover in our offensive zone and gets the pass over to Dorofiev who buries it past James Reimer to make it three to one Vegas did not know he can there are several times in a season where I will see a play that Keaton Colzar makes and I'm like I did not know that you were capable of that 
and then it just kind of disappears and but hopefully not dude the fantastic night for this dude Keaton Colzar had his best game that I can remember for a full 60 minutes Brett Howden has been an underrated star in all this this entire seat like in that first game against the Avs he's got the empty netter but also in the beginning like he had our best chances and he played well it's like he's performed really well and he's a little versatile and center winger whatever he's asked to play he's done well so far it's three games but hey three games worth of consistent effort from him that's fantastic we have heavily relied on that top line of Eichel Barbashev and Stone to do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to scoring but tonight we didn't really need that and we got it from elsewhere in the lineup and that was fantastic speaking of that line <laughs> Barbashev looked a little bit out of place tonight he had a couple of errors that weren't there in the first two games and Eichel and Stone are fantastically talented. And like Barbashev is too, but it's there there's a difference, right? <laughs> Eichel and Stone drive play and Barbashev can, but he is definitely a beneficiary of being on that line and he has played well so far and that top line still was really dominant in stretches tonight. But there were a couple of lapses tonight and he uh, lost the puck several times where Eichel and Stone were not losing it as much even though Eichel also had a flop and like a pass. Just a really solid effort tonight from all of Vegas' depth and Shea Theodore is continuing to impress. He went back a little bit because he got high sticked in the face which wasn't called which is fine but like just I uh, don't know what that was for. Maybe he's missing a tooth again but he came back and was fine, and we won the game. 3 nothing. Fantastic. There was one other goal <laughs> that didn't count because it was played too high. The stick was barely over the net, which was the defining feature for played with a high stick. And it was Holtz on that power play, that second power play in the second period, where he tipped it. And it was just barely over, like I thought there was a chance that it could have been at height of the crossbar, but he waited too and just tapped it and it just went in and I was like, oh, cool. That, that was a really slick move from Holtz there. It's really cool to know that he can do that even though that was illegal. So just like no goal there, uh, but we're up 3 nothing. Fantastic! Looking forward to the next game. We're going on a road trip, uh, starting it off against the Capitals on Tuesday. Let the hot start continue. But that's going to be it for tonight's nightly review. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.